What's up guys, Chase KF5 IRE here and welcome to this week's edition of 5 Minute Friday. 5 Minute Fridays is a series I'm going to try to do on this channel regularly where I basically pick one topic for that episode and I break it down into what the topic is and how the topic works and I'm going to try to do all that in 5 minutes or less. So for this episode I'm going to be talking about the Parrot Talk group on DMR and what it is and how it works. So one thing I wanna note just before we jump into the video, I've seen some people say that there's Parrot on different digital modes and things like that. This video today is only Parrot on DMR and not the other modes. So I don't, I haven't messed with Parrot on any of the other modes, so I don't really know how it is, how it works, or even if it's even possible on other modes and stuff like that. Maybe I'll do some research on that, and if it does work, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make another video on it maybe. So let's go ahead and start the timer. Five minutes starts now. So first things first, what is the Parrot Talk Group? The Parrot Talk Group is just a talk group used for testing that you use to test your radio and your connection to the server of that DMR network that you're using. Parrot is a talk group used to make an echo test using a private call to talk group blank 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 997 on the Brandmeister network where blank 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 is the mobile country code or MCC for short of the master server that you are connecting to. So since I'm going through Brandmeister 3102 as my master, my talk group for Parrot would be 310997. And the 997 is consistent for all the other country codes, but 310, since I'm going through 3102, and then the same thing would be 310 for 3103. Parrot works just by sending a private call to the Parrot talk group, and then it'll send that private call that you sent to the server and then back from the server to your hotspot or repeater and then it will repeat that back through your radio so you can check your radio audio and so you can check your connection to the server and when it repeats that call back to you you'll be able to have a good indication of how good you sound as well as how well you're connected to the server and if you're having any packet loss or anything like that and when i make that private call to parrot i'll also go ahead and dial up the last heard on Brandmeister for the Parrot Talk group that I'm using, just so I can check and see, is it actually making the connection? And then I can also see my loss rate and signal report right there on the screen. So this is a great tool to help you test out your radio so you don't have to go making test calls on national talk groups or statewide talk groups or whatever other talk groups you use. And Parrot's set up on most DMR systems. You'll find it on a lot of DMR mark repeaters and a lot of Seabridge repeaters, but not all of them. Uh, same thing with Brandmeister, not all Brandmeister repeaters have this talk group on it, especially if they don't have the Brandmeister on demand option selected on their repeater. So it's always just best to check with your repeater. And it's also important to note that the Brandmeister Parrot talk group is not the same talk group for Parrot across the board on all DMR networks. So it's always important to make sure you check places like Repeater Book or your repeater's website that you're looking to uh, talk on because if it does have Parrot enabled, it's probably on a different talk group number. So just always check that and make sure that it is actually enabled on the repeater. Some, like I said, have it on there and some don't. If you're going through a Brandmeister repeater and they have the Brandmeister on demand option selected where you can key up whatever talk groups you want on demand or it's not set as a static talk group on that repeater, it should work and repeat back to you. And I've got it to work several times on Brandmeister repeaters near me. So let me show you how it works. So what I'm doing right now is I'm switching over to the Parrot talk group. And as you can see, I have it selected right there so in this case, I'm going to be using the Brandmeister Parrot Talk Group just to demonstrate what it is and how it works. But I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the Parrot Talk Group. And as you can see, I have it selected right there. And it's going to be Talk Group 310997 on the Brandmeister network. And like I said, it's set up as a private call. And as you can see on my code plug screen here, I have this set up as a private call. And it's pointed to Talk Group 310997. So come back to the radio, I have the Parrot Talk Group selected and I'm gonna go ahead and key up the radio and I'm gonna show you how it works. KI5 IRE testing one, two, three. KI5 IRE testing one, two, three. And as you can see, it repeated the message back to me without the Parrot accent and my audio sounded really clear and so that gives me a good indication that I'm connected to the server, have a good connection to the server, and that my microphone sounds good. So that's just a quick way to test it out. And then one more thing that I like to do when I place a call to Parrot, uh, other than just getting a signal report back through the audio, I also like to look at it here on the Brandmeister last heard on that talk group. So as you can see, 
uh, it shows me my link name is through the homebrew repeater which is my open spot it shows my call sign and my dmr id and the source which is my radio ki5 ire 316-3257 which is my dmr id and the destination is of course the parrot id that is 310997 and it also shows my signal report, which shows me an S9 at plus 40 dB. So I have a good connection there. But one more thing that I also like to see is the duration, uh, just to make sure it didn't get cut off, which it didn't because I heard that audibly. Uh, and then the loss rate, which shows 0%, which is a pretty good loss rate. So that's just a quick demonstration of the Parrot Talk Group on DMR, uh, specifically on the Brandmeister network. So I think this is a really important talk group that's really underutilized by a lot of hams. And I mean, you'll hear on statewide talk groups, even some national and international talk groups, people keying up and asking for radio tests and things like this. There's a lot of repeater owners and talk group owners that don't really like you asking for a signal report and things like that on there, just making test calls and things like that, or if you're chunking it to see if you're getting a hit. So Parrot is the best way, I think, to do this that keeps people from getting upset on DMR. But, I mean, it's a very powerful tool to test your radio, test your audio. I try to use it every time before I get on the air and start talking to other people just to make sure my audio sounds good and that I'm actually connected to the server. I can't tell you how many times I started talking into a talk group and didn't realize uh, because I didn't go through Parrot first that I wasn't even connected to the server. So when you get that message repeated back to you, you will confirm that you're connected to the server and that you actually sound good before you get on the air. Because there's so many people out there too that try to start talking and their signal is just absolute crap. So if it doesn't sound good, you'll know. But like I said, there's a lot of repeater owners out there and talk group owners that get a little bit upset when you start trying to make uh, you know, when you start trying to do signal checks on a statewide, a national talk group, whatever. So really the safest bet is just to always use Parrot to do your signal checks. So this was just a quick video on the Parrot talk group and what it is and how it's used on DMR and uh, why I think it's important to use it to do your radio checks. I'll see you guys next time. Chase KF5 IRE 73.